All right, so welcome back to the fluid mechanics uh, section of the civil FE exam review. Today we're going to be looking at fluid properties. And so I have a few practice problems for y'all um, to go through. And so again, units are going to be key for us. And so let's go ahead and dive right in. So um, number one says a fluid has a density of 1000 kilograms. Uh, per meter cubed and a dynamic viscosity of 0.1 Newton seconds over meter squared. What is the kinematic viscosity of the fluid? Okay. So what information are we given? Given the density. Or also. And the Dynamic viscosity, I'm just gonna abbreviate. Okay, what are we trying to find? Well, we're trying to find kinematic viscosity. Okay, so what formulas do we need? Well, I don't know the by heart the formula for kinematic viscosity, but I know that's what I'm trying to find. So I'm just gonna do a quick search. All right, so I do a search for kinematic viscosity. All right, here's what comes up. Kinematic viscosity uh, is the symbol kind of V. So um, V, is equal to, okay, let's make sure we have some other variables that we'll need. Um, what is this mu? Well, the, the handbook is gonna tell us what this top mu is. So mu is the absolute dynamic viscosity of the fluid. So we have uh, mu, so this is mu. All right, and then it's all over density. And we know that from this formula, density of the fluid is the P. Tells us in the handbook. So this is our P. Okay. So now it's just a matter of making sure our units make sense. And going from there. So we have our um, dynamic viscosity, right? But if I take, I'm just doing kind of like a, let's just, let's just write it out for simplicity. Term. So if I have a point, this equals 0 0.1 Newton times seconds over meters squared, all divided by, so that was our mu, all divided by our uh, density, which is 1000 kg per meter cubed. Okay, so what's the problem here? The problem is our units don't cancel out, all right? So we have kilograms over meters cubed. So meters, meters, okay, we got this Newton seconds going on. So is there a conversion that we can make with Newtons to get, um, this thing to be uh, in kilograms or something to cancel out more units, all right? So I'm gonna look up what Newton equals in the unit conversion section because I'm sure that it there is a conversion for this, right? So I just jump to the conversion section And 
we learn that one Newton is equal to one kg um, times meter times our meters over seconds squared. So one Newton is equal to one kg times m over s squared. All right, how does that help us out here? All right. Well, it helps us cancel out more units. So once we convert this again, right, we have 0.1 and now I'm substituting my Newtons, right? This is what I'm substituting out. It's Newtons. With this so point one times one kg m over s squared okay now going back to my other unit times s all over meters squared and then that's all over 1000 kg over m cubed all right so our units they're going to simplify to equal zero point zero 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 one meters squared over seconds so our kilograms will cancel um this unit just cancels to a s right and then um we're left with this meters cubed is going to be multiplied by meters so it's going to be meters to the fourth over meters squared it's going to give us our uh, meters squared over a second so that's how our units are going to cancel so we are left with a So just making sure you understand um, your units, making sure you understand what variables they give you, and then just writing it out, listing out everything, and don't worry about, you know, how confusing sometimes the units get. Just take your time as you're practicing, and so this stuff will come much faster to you once you actually um, have done multiple problems of this so all right i hope that you're enjoying this video i just wanted to drop in and say if you're looking to pass your civil fe exam within the next 90 days then you definitely want to check out the course that i've created the video that you're currently watching gives you just a glimpse of what is in the course and i have made it test taker proof and what that means is is no matter if you've been out of school for a while or you just have trouble with some of the engineering concepts, if you study this material that is in the course, it will help you to pass within the next 90 days. There are also full practice exams. Yes, 110 question practice exams, along with review guides and study schedule templates to help you pass. And these, re these are resources that I have created for you. 
So if you wanna check out any of those, just head down in the description box below and check them out now. Now to stay up to date on any new videos that I drop, whether it is more practice problems like in this video, or if you want advice and some extra tips to help you pass your civil FE exam, you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so that you know exactly when I post. And if you wanna check out the next video, you can here.